Dear students, welcome back. Our today's topic is improper integrals. In this video, I will try to answer two questions. First, how you will understand that the given integral is an improper integral, and there are how many types of imp improper integrals? So let me start from here. Definite integrals we can divide into two categories. Number one, proper and number two improper and uh, integrals we have been discussed uh, up to now was all proper integrals and today I want to discuss improper integrals now the question is how can you understand that your given integral is improper to understand that I am going to divide improper integral again three types there are three types of improper integral type 1, type 2, type 2 and type 3. And type 1 means in infinite intervals of integration. For example, if your integration is like this 1 to infinity 1 by x squared dx then you see the upper limit is infinity so this Im integral is improper and second example can be like this negative infinity to 5 x square plus 7 dx and third example can be like this negative infinity to infinity 1 by 1 plus x square dx you see these are the improper integrals of type 1 why because upper limit here is infinity here lower limit is infinity and here both upper limit and lower limit are infinity in type 2 integrands become infinity and what is integrands in this integral fx is called integrands we know fx is the integrands and when integrands become infinity either at lower limit of your integration or at upper limit or in between then these types of integral is said to be type 2 for example let's say you have an integral like this 1 to 2 1 by x minus 1 this, in this integral is improper integral of type 2 because the integrand is infinity at its lower limit if you put 1 in this function then it will be 1 by 0 it means the integrand will be discontinuous at its lower limit and another one 1 to 2 1 by x minus 2 this integral also type 2 improper integral because the integral integrand it becomes infinity at its upper limit and the third one 1 to 4 let's say 1 to 4 1 by x minus 3 dx this integral also type 2 improper integral because from 1 to 4 in this interval you have 3 so the integrand become infinity in between in between lower limit and upper limit the integrand become infinity within the limits of integration so this is type 2 and type 3 means an integral which is both loyal uh, both type 1 and type 2 the integral which is improper of type 1 and type 2 I can say this is type 3 for example 0 to infinity 1 by x square dx this is improper because the upper limit is infinity and again this is improper because the integrand becomes infinity at its lower limit so this integral is improper of type 1 and type 2 that's why we can we can say this is type 3 integral when the limits of integration is 
infinity as well as the integrand becomes infinity at its lower limit or upper limit or within the limits of integration second example let me write this way 1 minus infinity to infinity 1 by x square minus 9 dx this is also type 1 you can say type 1 type 2 both that's why I said this is type 3 improper integral so how can we evaluate these types of integral that I will discuss in our next class let me discuss how can we evaluate this types this type this integral 1 to b 1 by x squared dx this integral depends it will be either proper or improper it depends on its upper limit you see normally uh, we integrate it like this if it is a proper integral then this is the integration you see which is equal minus 1 by x 1 to b and this equal minus 1 by b plus 1 which is equal 1 minus 1 by b now if you want to evaluate this integral from 1 to 2 then what will be the answer your answer will be 1 minus 1 half which is 1 half if you want to integral uh, integrate from 1 to 4 or 3 then it will be it will be 1 minus 1 by 4 which is 3 by 4 and if you want to integrate for example 1 to 50 then the answer will be what 1 minus 1 by 50 which is equal 49 by 50 and you see the area is increasing if you increase the upper limit then the area is increasing now the question is what will be the total area if the upper limit is infinity I want to answer this question in our next video thank you very much for your listening